I'm on a quest to build the world's best open source AI web scraper. I was so impressed with the results so far, I just had to share it because the experience of seeing this early version in action was just magical. I tried building this thing, this exact thing, in January of last year, right after ChatGPT came out, and it felt impossible mainly due to the small context window GPT-3 had and its subpar intelligence. So much has changed since then. GPT-432K is arguably Einstein level intelligence, so you can build some insane AI agents with these models. The first idea I tried is the most basic. I took the whole HTML content of a web page and just stuffed it into GPT's context window. This did work for a good number of websites, but not all of them. To approach this, let's instead think from first principles. What would you do as a human if you were trying to find something on a web page? You would probably control F to bring up a search window and type in a term you think will match to the element you're searching for on the page. That sounds good. Let's try exactly that algorithm. So let's jump down here and we can kind of see how the agent is getting set up. This is just kind of boilerplate that Langchain requires to set up an agent. And then to that agent, we're providing the search query. So like if I'm searching for pricing on a web page and the actual web link and then the tool. So this is kind of the important part. So let's jump over to where the tools. So in this case, we only have one tool that the agent has access to, and it's a tool called get element the input to this tool, and you can also kind of think of it as a function. The input to the function is a list of terms to search through the website URL to find our goal. So for example, if we're searching through the Minecraft Wikipedia webpage, and the thing I'm looking for is the launch date of Minecraft, some terms that GPT, that the GPT agent might create for that, to do that search are things like launch, release, release date. So those separate terms would be what's provided here. And then the URL, which is just the URL of the website, and then the goal. So like the launch date of Minecraft would be in that example. Um, and then this is just the description that we're giving to the agent, description of the tool, and then the actual function that's going to be called. So this is kind of the main function that's going to handle the orchestration of extracting the important information from the web page. The agent is the one that provides some of this information, like the terms, the URL, and the goal. We already covered that. And what we do there is we're going to run this crawler on the URL that's provided. And inside that crawler, we call this function called get element. And what get elements is going to do is go through and populate a list of HTML elements that match the search terms. So this is kind of that control F search that I had talked about before. Now that we have our nice list of HTML elements, what we want to do is select a single element that most likely answers the user's search query or question that they're trying to scrape from the web page. So for example, let's go into this select single element function. And what this function does is basically take the list of HTML elements, put numbers next to them, and ask GPT-4, pick the one that most likely answers the user's question. Uh, you can see we pass the search query to the prompt for GPT-4, and then we run that completion, and then we just return the number that GPT-4 picks because it's gonna just pick a number from the list. Of it. Let's see the agent in action. The goal I gave it was to search the Minecraft Wikipedia page for the question, what is the size of an IPv4 address? So it had to answer that question or find that information on the page. And the reason I gave it this question was because I wanted to see if it could navigate links to find the answer and not just get stuck if it doesn't find the direct answer on the first page. So you can see here, uh, this is the output of the agent, and it tried these terms, IP, IPv4 address size, IP address, um, on the URL Minecraft Wikipedia page, and its goal was to find the size of the address. You can see here, this is the thought of the agent, and it says the get element tool did not return information directly related to the size of an IP address from the provided page. However, it did find a link to the page for IP address. So let's run the search, but instead of the one that we did before, which was up here on the Minecraft page, let's do it on the IP address page. So it did successfully, you know, figure out that it needed to use a different link. Um, so that was really cool to see. So this is only the first step on our way to the ultimate AI web scraper. The main problem with the current setup is yes, it can handle websites that have links to the information we want, but what if some info we want is stuck behind a form or button press? One idea, and here was the initial beautiful design is to use GPT-4 vision in combination with labeling to give the agent the same view a human would uh, to make that decision on where to go next in search of the answer. I'll include a link to the code so far 
Um, I'm going to be making more adjustments to the project, like making it cheaper to run and more reliable overall. That's all for today, though. Let me know if you have any feedback. Thank you, guys.